Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Do for Beginners. Today we are going to discuss that how you can add the sequence number to cell order line. Okay, here we are going to discuss that two methods without customization using Udo standard. But why this is necessary? When in organization one cell order contains the multiple cell order line. So for the purpose of that reporting, it is very useful. So first method is that using OCA. OCA has developed this simple but powerful tool. Using that, we can easily add that sequence number to cell order line and it is carry forwarded with print of that quotation, with invoice and printing of that invoice also. So without wasting the time, let's jump to that database and let's check that model. This is the model which is a cell order line sequence. Using this model, we can, we can add the numbers to that cell order line. So let's jump to the database. I have already added that models. So if I'm going to the cells, I'm going to create the quotations. So let me just leave the quotations over here. I'm just going to create a new. I'm selecting the customer. And here you can see that the line number is there. Here one is that. So let me just open many of the products. I'm just going to add that. And second is that. And this is the thing. Okay. This is the first thing. Now, if I'm just going to print that, so let me just save it. I'm going to print that quotations. So, this is cell order number 5. And let me just open it. Okay, and 1, 2 is here. So, this is the first thing. Now, let me just confirm it and create the invoice for that. So we can find that also that this is carry forwarded with that invoices. You can see that and if I want to print that, so it will be on the print also, print of that invoice also. So let's do for the same. Okay, this is the draft invoice. And you can find that sequence number on that invoice also. Okay, so this is the first that how we can do it using that OC. And now second thing that how we can do it using the studio. No more. So for that, let me jump to my database. Okay, now this is my database and just let me make sure that I have used that proper one. Okay. And this is the file. Okay, now let me check that I have already used or not. If yes, so let me remove it first. Yeah, so let me remove it first so we can do it easily. Okay, I'm just going to edit the list view and okay, I'm just going to remove from. Let me remove from the reports also. Okay. Okay, fine. Everything is done. Uh, yeah. Now let's do that, that how we can do it using that studio, okay. So here currently I'm on my sign order. I'm just going to open the studio. Step number one, click on that, edit the list view. We are picking that field which is the related field. We're going to add. And here I'm fetching that sequence. Sequence is that. Okay, now let me confirm it. So here you can see that this is the thing. Let me change the name for this. This is the name of that field. This new related field is the serial number. Again, click name, close it. Okay. Now one important thing that I have to do. This is my handle. Let me make it integer first. Just wait for a while. Is one default value is also one okay and let me change it again to my hand okay let me close it okay now let me create one quotations i'm creating the quotation i'm selecting the customer i'm adding that i'm selecting that product i'm again and here you can see that it's again that but if I'm just going to save it, okay, you can change it, okay. Now, how we can do it with the reporting? So, let me just again open the studio. And 
let's do it for that reporting. Let me go to that quotations and here we want to add the field. Let me add the field on the left side. I'm just giving that name which is the serial number. And here we have to use that. And now we are looking for that field which is this sequence. Okay. Now insert and let me close it and let's print that quotation. Okay. Now if I'm going to print that quotations, it will be on that print. Okay, so let's check it. Okay, let's download it and let me open it as 005. Yeah. Here you can see that that you can do it from your sites. You can try the studio, you can try to add that sequence number and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys, thank you so much.